I'm Dr. John McDougall. I'm the founder and director of the McDougall Program, a live-in center in Santa Rosa, California, where we help people with some basic lifestyle and dietary changes. A place where you can come and relax and get some freedom, get some control of your, of your health. Solve some very serious health problems. And uh, one of the more problems, common problems that I see is a, a problem of diverticular disease, diverticulosis, diverticulitis. Let me explain to you what that is. It commonly occurs in the colon, which is the last part of the small intestines, a, a big tube that passes uh, from the right side of your body to the left side. It's the colon. And what happens is you get out pouches, balloons that are blown out through the walls of the colon. Now, these balloons occur secondary to having a small stool to move from the right side of the colon to the left side for passage out of the body. What happens when you eat the rich western diet is it's very low in fiber. There's no dietary fiber in any animal product. That means there's not a speck of fiber in beef, chicken, cheese, fish, etc. No fiber in any animal foods. And a lot of our vegetable foods have been refined into white rice, white bread, and so on. So a lot of the fiber is missing. Well, when you eat these kinds of foods, as almost every American does, what happens after it passes through the intestinal tract, passes through the small intestine, and gets to the large intestine, everything's been absorbed. There's basically nothing left. There's some, uh, some dead cells and a little bit of fiber left. And that's what goes to form the affluent, the material that has to be passed from the right side of the colon to the left side of the colon, and to pass it because it's just a little tiny bit of matter. It creates uh, uh, tremendous pressures because you have to contract to small diameters. It's called the law of Laplace. It's a, it's a law of physics that says when you contract at small diameters, you create great pressures. Those great pressures, they blow up balloons that we call diverticuli. Half the people on the Western diet have these diverticuli when they get to midlife. So they're entirely preventable just by eating a healthy diet. If you already have them, then don't do anything about them unless they trouble you. If they bleed or you get infection in them that we call diverticulitis, then the solution is hopefully, it's not an emergency, and hopefully it can be done by simply changing your diet. Studies have been done where they put people on a high fiber healthy diet and the symptoms of bleeding related to diverticulosis go away and the recurrent infections or diverticulitis stop. Now the diverticuli, the little balloons, they don't go away, but who cares, they just stay there. So now you know how to solve a very common problem by simply putting good things into the large intestine. I'm Dr. John McDougall. Thank you for listening.